So on this one, once again, uh, I, I just recommend looking at this, right? We can't split three up into any two factors that are going to add up to a negative six. So that's out of the question. So we're definitely going to have to solve this by completing the square, which is what it told us to do anyways. Whatever. Let's go ahead and subtract three from both sides. Um, the equal sign, so I've got x squared minus 6x equals negative 3. And yes, if I had a coefficient of x squared, I would have divided everything by that coefficient to start with. But in this case, I don't have one. Why well, do? It's just one. Okay, <clears throat> so... Uh, going back to the way this completing this square stuff works, right? We're going to add, and we're going to do it to both both sides of this. <clears throat> so, we're going to square for both of these. We'll square these. And we're going to take half of both. And then I'm just going to put my coefficient of x, which is a negative 6, in there. Okay. <clears throat> So this now becomes x squared minus 6x. I'm going to show all the steps. And this is plus uh, negative 3 squared equals negative 3 plus, it's, it's the same thing, negative 3 squared. Now I'm keeping this negative 3 here because we'll see it's going to show, it's going to show up again in a moment. So this ends up just being x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals negative 3 plus 9. So if we were kind of worried about that negative 3 before, no need anymore, because now that we're adding it to a 9, we end up with 6. And this is, again, going to be a perfect square there, so I can factor this out into the negative 3. See how that, that negative 3 showed up again? right there so this is now x minus 3 I am skipping a step by the way squared equals 6 alright well back to uh, the basics on this stuff we'll square root both sides so now I have the absolute value of x minus 3 equals the square root of 6 and I'm gonna split this up so I've got x minus 3 equals the positive square root of 6 and x minus 3 equals the negative. I didn't give myself a lot of space there, sorry. The negative square root of 6. Okay. Well, of course, we're going to add 3 to both sides of all the equations. So here I've got x equals a positive 3 plus 6. And here is x equals the same 3, but now we have minus the square root of 6. And that's as far as we can simplify that. If we looked at the square root of 6, which some of you would want to do and try, uh, the only factors we can find on this is 3 and 2, neither of which are perfect squares. So there's no need to look to simplify that any further. <clears throat> 